Greetings, Professor Hobo here. I just did a hundred miles of off-roading today. I am disgusting from head to toe, but I did want to tell you guys about a product that kind of saved my butt today. And that's this high boost cell phone booster. I have this mounted to my side-by-side -side because we do a lot of remote riding. I'm actually at a really cool off-road event with a bunch of other side-by-side -side riders and we do very long, arduous treks up into the mountains all day long. A lot of places, no cell phone signal. So I took this so I could basically do uh, Google Maps so I can see where I'm at and get a nice satellite view of the area. But this kind of saved my butt today. Now this is the truck booster. This is actually designed to go on a semi-truck. So this part bolts to a mirror. The booster goes inside, it plugs into your cigarette lighter, then there's a little, a little internal antenna inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys and tell you what happened today. So this part here is the inside part. This is actually where you set your phone on or near. You could set it nearby, but I usually set it on top of it for the best signal. So this is the internal part. This would go inside the semi, inside the cab. And of course you can use this like I have here in a side-by-side, -side, or you can use it in a car or a truck. I happen to just have this model on the side-by-side -side because of this, because you know, when you go off-roading, things get caught, like branches and stuff come by, and I said, you know what, this is perfect. This antenna is perfect for a side-by-side. -side. And yes, that's a Bouge RV 30-quart fridge. Man, that thing has really been a trooper, too. That thing kept my lunch and drinks all ice cold all day long. You know, I was beating the crap out of it, all dirt and mud, and you can see we did some. Went through the mud kind of slow, but still splattered everywhere. Anyway, I have the actual booster down here underneath the spare tire, so let me show you that real quick. Okay, you can see down here, this is a pretty much a waterproof compartment. It keeps your stuff dry. So what I did is I put the high boost down here. It's not bolted to anything. This was like a temporary installation. I just wanted to make sure it worked. This white cable's going to the antenna on the outside, which I showed you guys. And then there's a, there's a power cable right here. And then there is a wire that goes to the internal antenna, which I've already showed you. And for power, I just plug it into my 12 volt using the adapter that came with. It's actually a USB powered booster. So you can power it off of five volts or any kind of USB, but I have it plugged in with the adapter that it comes with into the 12 volt. And that means anytime the engine's running, it sends power to the 12 volt. Now this is for the refrigerator, but anytime the ignition's on, it powers the 12 volt and then it sends the power back to the booster. Okay, here we have my cell phone. You can see I do have an LTE signal, probably about three bars right now. So this is actually a pretty decent signal area, but let me just give you an example. Signal strength right now, it says it is minus 108. So the smaller the number, the better. So there's a signal strength without the booster on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power to the side-by-side -side, and that is going to turn on the booster. So now you can see all three lights are on on the booster. So let's go ahead and check it and see what kind of power we're getting here. You can see right there, it says 85 decibels. So that is a dramatic improvement. Just go ahead and move the phone away. You can see right there, it says 109. So how did this high boost booster system save my butt today? Well, I kind of took a wrong turn. This is my first time out here doing this event. Uh, I didn't understand the signal and I took a wrong turn and I ended up basically driving around for an hour trying to find the group. Where I was at, there was no cell phone signal at all. So what I did, fortunately, is I had the booster with me. All I had to do is plug it in and I was able to use my cell phone and I was able to call and say, hey, I'm lost. Don't send out search and rescue because a lot of times people get lost. They, they go the wrong way for like 30 miles and they get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Then they have to send out rangers and stuff to find them. I let them know, hey, you know, I drove around for an hour looking for you guys. I gave up, I'm heading back to camp. So it wasn't for this booster. They'd still be looking for me out there right now. <laughs> well, I guess I could have called them when I got back to camp. But you know, in the forest and mountains up here, the signal's spotty at best. You got a lot of tall trees, a lot of hills and mountains and stuff. The booster saved my butt because it allowed me to make that emergency call to let people know that I am okay and you don't need to come find me. So anybody with a side-by-side, -side, if you don't have an actual radio, which I don't, I haven't invested in one of those fancy whole, you know, thousand dollar headset radios for your side-by-side because -side, I don't really ride that often. 
Instead, I use this because this allows me to get Google Maps. I can do satellite view, GPS, all that stuff, be able to get on my cell phone. Now, sometimes this doesn't work. Now, I tell you right now, don't expect this to work everywhere. There were places where I was in a valley and this did nothing for me. I had to basically drive to the top of the hill and I got a signal. But without that, I'd have no signal. I would have drive like 20 miles to get enough of a signal to make a phone call. And you can get the Highboo system. I have discounts for all different models on my website, hobotech.tv slash Amazon. Go down to the electronics internet section. I have all the high boost models there with the discount code that allows you to get a significant amount, sometimes 20 to 30% off of these. And uh, might save your butt. It might be a worthwhile investment to put one on your truck, your semi, if you're a truck driver. Or in this case, if you go off-roading in a Jeep or side-by-side -side or something like that, you're out in the wilderness, might save your butt one of these days. Now let's briefly review the Signal Supervisor app you can get with your high boost. Now this app is optional. You don't need to install it. All it does is it just shows you how much boost you're getting on what bands and things like that. If you don't need any of that nerdy tactical stuff or you don't believe in apps, which I don't, I don't like putting apps on my phone. So you don't have to actually install this app. It's completely optional, but let's show you what it looks like. Do be aware that if you want to use the Signal Supervisor app, you're going to have to create a cloud account, which means you need username and password, email address, they verify your phone number, and they want to know your location. So if you're fine with giving away all that personal information, you can go ahead and download the app off the App Store of your choice. They have it for both Android and Apple. So here we are using the app on my tablet. You can see it detected it as a travel truck. That must be what their internal name for the thing is. Bluetooth is connected, which means we can actually get on and check it out. So basically, here's what it looks like. You can see it gives you connection type, product name. I decided not to put my location in. And it gives you an idea of how much the booster is boosting. And it depends on the different band. Each phone company has different towers with different frequencies. This one here is for Verizon LTE 700. You can actually see that I am in the output power of good. Now this over here, I believe cell 800 is either Sprint or AT&T. I think it's AT&T. You can see it's boosting barely nothing because there are no AT&T towers here. There's just like an emergency AT&T uh, bandwidth here, but you can't actually get service in this area. But you can go into detail and you can go into the different types of cell and get information as to how much gain uh, what your uplink, downlink is, output power, and you can do that for the four different frequencies of towers that are available. Now, one of the things the apps do provide, if you want to do a quick install guide, it shows you how if you want to install this on a semi, or in a car, or on an RV, where you should actually install the indoor and outdoor antennas. Gives you extra information about installation, it's basically like a digital install manual. Do not mount it over airbags. And then I give you an option to contact support. Say you can't figure it out, you need some help, you can contact support. Also allows you to access technical support where you can chat with people if you need to and open up a ticket, things like that. Schedule support call. If you have problems getting this to work, that's where you want to go. And that's really all there is to it. Now High Boost does offer ones that are for truckers, like the one I have on here. I do have one for the RV, so we've already done a video on the RV booster. I did that one back in Quartzsite, and there's one for the home, and I did a video on the home one last year. And as you can see, I'm still using it. I still got the antenna out, and it is still providing my main internet service for this area. So if you're interested in any of the Highboost products, links are in the description below that'll take you to my website, hobotech.tv where you got the links and the codes depending on which model you're interested in. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. And looky who wants to say hi, it's Thor. He's waving, he's saying, hi guys, right before he tears my face off. Yeah, he doesn't look very happy. There you go. Our 
Ravi Golf Guy, Pat Medicario, and Juan Roger Cardano, Brian Blue, first John's Jason Soroko.